if you're supposed to count or if they would count. <laughs> well, what do you know today? All right, welcome to another edition of Two Extreme. It's holiday time and we're going to have a little fun. You probably remember a little while ago, Dave, April, and Chase, and myself riding around in this little crazy chair that we had uh, borrowed. A lot of you asked us how that actually was made and who did it. Well, you know what? Actually, we're going to try to build one ourselves and show you just how one of those is actually fabricated and put together. But we have to enlist the help of some very special people. And before we do that, actually, I hear a noise. I think you're going to, are we going to get a visitor? Sounds like it. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Lo and behold, it's Harry. Harry, welcome back to Two Extreme. Hello. The way this whole thing started is uh, Clive was in my restaurant telling me when he built the chair in 1990, and so I really wanted one, and so he built one for me. Well, we liked it so much that we thought we'd build one of our own. Yeah. And what we're going to do right now is bring in somebody to assist us with that, because I know nothing about fabricating something like this, and it's time for an expert. And that expert is Clive Parker. The idea first came to me. Uh, we were driving past a charity shop and I saw this chair in the window and a uh, short while later we were, saw this old motorbike, this scooter and I kind of thought I must, couldn't have had much to do that day, but wouldn't it be fun if we could get that scooter engine mounted in that chair. We would like to actually build one ourselves on the show but oh. we're going to have to enlist your services because like I great. said we, we were probably going to build something that would go sideways when we try to go forward without your help. I'd love to help you. But we're going to take it one step further. When Joe called me a few weeks ago and he said, Clive, would you consider helping us to build a chair? And I said, well, yeah, great. And then he told me he wanted to build a love seat and I kind of wasn't sure. We're going to go a little bigger. We want to make a love seat. It's a little bit wider than this one. Yeah. Um, but we did find one that's fairly light. I think you're going to like it, but I'm sure it's going to be a handful anyway. Well, you gave me some dimensions on the phone the other day and I was wondering what you had up your sleeve, so. As you can see, Dave backed the truck up here to bring the chair to the shop. And this thing's brand new, man. <laughs> well, we've done a lot of builds here, a lot of different builds, I should say, and uh, I never knew what to expect. When Joe told me that we were putting a motor into a love seat, I said, you've got to be kidding me. There's no way. All right, here you go, guys. Look at this. Oh. Brand new. Oh, dude. Wow. Look at this. Well, when I first saw the love seat, I thought, you know, this is going to be pretty hard to figure out. You know, it's a lot different than just building a regular seat. Ooh. I hope you like it. Is this a fold up bay? I thought it was, but I tried to move it, and it doesn't move. You know what? No, that's, that's a solid a frame. frame. This, is, this could be a very good um, starting point. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And, the, and the steel frame. And so we can just unbolt this, and that gives us. These are the dimensions. We're going to check that you got them right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, April gave them to me. <laughs> I've never right. seen this chair in my life. Okay. Yeah, that's what you're saying now. You're hey, right. hey, watch it with the finger there. Okay. Just got back from school tonight, just showed up, and I'm already doing the hard stuff. What do you think I have you here for? Lifting a motor on, is the down. hard stuff. Hold that for me. <laughs> right. Considering the first chair we built was 50cc, this one's going to be 150cc. It is a heavier chair, but we have, obviously, when we get it moving, we're going to have to stop it. So the brakes are a bit of a concern at the moment. It is. This is the, this is the wheel, all right? It's pretty. I don't, I don't know who picked, I think, purple? That's yeah. blue. Is it blue? That it's is color blue. You're all right, so color it's blue color. with the chrome edges. It's cool. Too bad no one's going to see it. Um, it's nice, it's heavy, and it's raining. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> it's heavy. I got the motor, you got the wheel. Voila, engine. Oh, that's an, that is an engine. Brand new. What? It's the brand new chair. It's a 150cc four stroke. But I have more here. The guys down at MRP, Mark Racing Performance, I told them that, you know, here at Two Extreme, that's great, we got a motor, but you know, we can't leave it stock. <laughs> so, Boy. how about if we add in maybe a, a nice uh, it doesn't 62 know it is. millimeter big bore kit <laughs> to give us a little more yeah. torque? Okay. Along with a high flow big valve head. Oh dear. And then of course for some power transfer, how about a lighter clutch with better engagement? Yeah, when Joe Kate went bent under the bench and pulled up these extra parts, this new engine that I already thought was going to be quick enough, then he started pulling out different camshafts, different head, big bulky. Boy, I thought, you know, this this chair is really going to be something. Ah, That's so going to be going underneath the wheel. So we let's go and see how long the engine is. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, I think Clive 
really is, is kind of surprised that, you know, we actually came here with everything brand new. And Chase showed me the wheel and I was like, are you kidding? Like, that's really gonna fit underneath my butt? <laughs> that's it, go on, that'll do, that'll work, that'll work for me. <laughs> I just wanna see but. if you can lift that, didn't you? You know okay. why you're here? That's why you're here. You see that? Look at that. That's yeah. why you're here, man. Look at that. Why, well, I tell you what, how much room have we got at the back? So far, so good. The engine and drive wheel could not fit any better. Whether it will fit under April's butt remains to be seen, and we'll be watching. Seriously, the two extreme crew realizes that this little bit of luck is a good start, but it's really a drop in the bucket for the size of this project. Yeah, we'll be right back. It's a squirrel. <laughs> wheel down here. This is one of the hot, an old go kart wheel I had, oh, and I that, thought that's now, gonna be fun. We can, we've got plenty of room either side. Now, the biggest problem I had with the, the other, other chair, and you'll see on the go-kart there, is where the go-kart wheels steer from is a point here. And the wheels do this. Well, we're not going to be able to do that. So what we're going to have to do is move the pivot point to the top of the wheel, so make a U-bracket that comes up, and we'll put the pivot on the wheel. So the wheel will pivot on it like that. Uh, one of the biggest problems I had with my first chair was when the wheel turned, it turns on what they call the kingpin here. And we're limited by the frame at the front. The wheel would crash into the frame. So if you imagine yeah. that wheel doing and turning like that on that axis, that is what we need. Yeah. We're going to tilt it back. And so that wheel will, when you push it forward, yeah. it will want to self-center. Yeah. Well, that's the end of day one. We're getting ready for day two. Stay tuned to Extreme Be Right Back.